Yeah, easy guys. Um, I'm, off, I'm off the bus now. I'm in the middle of Kung Fu Town. Just gonna have a quick walk around, see what's about. I haven't, I haven't got a clue what's about. I'm just gonna walk in a direction. I don't know what I'm, where I'm going or just a random walk. I'll tell you what I do need. I need a nice cold drink and a little something to eat. It's really busy here though. I'll walk up this way. Just for the simple reason, it looks more shady than, ever, than all the other directions. It's banking over there. Yeah, it's proper busy here today. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what's about. Just taking a random walk, see what I come across. I'll stay on and leave the camera rolling. If any of you have been here before, let me know um, what's about, um, what way I should head, and what I should look for. I'm only here for two days, and then I fly to Milan in Italy. So today and tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm doing tomorrow, but I'm gonna meet up with my friend and we're gonna do something. So for today, I'm on my own. So I'm gonna walk around Corfu Town and just see what there is. It's proper busy here. I need some food in my belly, man. I went into Lidl's. The problem is with over here, nothing's written in English. So I imagine I went into Lidl's and they got all these pastries and you know like kind of sausage rolls and pasties and stuff. But you don't know what anything is. It's all written in Greek. So I had to I had to like just get lucky. But I didn't get lucky. I got this pasty and it was fucking horrible. I don't know what was in it. It was nasty man. So I'm still starving. You got local police on their bikes. It's the first time I've seen any police in it over this over this country. Probably not worth having them anywhere else because it's not um, busy <laughs> like over here. But um, they're here because it's so busy, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, I just want to go and find a drink and a little something to eat and any places of interest that are around here. If anyone knows anywhere around here, let me know, yeah? I'll go and have a butcher's. One thing about this country, I swear there's more motorbikes than people. There's more mopeds motorbikes than people. Almost like everyone knows but motorbikes. I'm going to find a nice little cat. I'm sure I'll be alright around here though. Find somewhere decent. something savory to eat but everywhere I'm seeing looks like they've got sweet stuff now yeah I'm not gonna lie I wasn't expecting this I didn't know it was so busy because everywhere I've been it's been quite quiet because it's out of season well, I guess anyone within 10 miles of this area comes here it ain't much else. Ain't nowhere else to go shopping and stuff, you know. It's the first time I've seen proper shops, really, apart from supermarkets. I don't know what this building is or was. It's like it was an old church. Something. Okay. 
Greek. So you go fucking clean. Greek. 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 Look, this is a lot of jewelers around here. <laughs> It's all little shitty bits of jewellery, not decent jewellery. Yeah. Yeah, pomegranates, man. No? Used to eat them as a kid. <laughs> He's the first black man I've seen in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> the first black man I've seen here, apart from when I got off the plane. <laughs> oh, it's nice and cool down this alley. I don't want to go down there. There's not there's not like much going on down there, but just to get out of that sun for a minute, man. Trust me. No need for tumble dryers in. Just hang their clothes across the, across there. Yeah, everywhere else I've been, there ain't really much in the way of shopping and shops and stuff. Just supermarkets. Uh, any kind of little supermarkets, I mean, not big ones like we have at home. Um, little little um, supermarkets that can get the essentials, basically. Right, here, proper shopping area, proper shop. A lot of shit, though. Catered for tourists. But the writing, though, catered for tourists. <laughs> it's strange. Yeah, if anyone's thinking to come cool food, this is cool food town. Uh, lively. Shoot down this way. I don't know where that leads to. I'm literally going on a random walk. Just hope I can remember my way my way back. I swear that, all I want is a savage and a drink. It's hard to get savages in a lot of these countries. I don't think I'm going to walk too far. I'm going to grab something to eat for somewhere. <laughs> there seems to be jewellers everywhere over there. I don't see many people wearing many jewels on. <laughs> I think I'm heading towards the sea if I carry on walking. I can smell the, um, the change in the air, if you know what I mean. I've got used to it after all. so much experience, I've got used to it, you know. Um, 
I might even have a dive in it, I tell you. I don't get it, man. So yeah, I've already noticed on the menus here, it's a lot more expensive here than when you're out of the centre of town. But I suppose that's the same everywhere. I don't know, but I reckon the sea might be out this way. Just go have a quick butchers. But I was right, guys. I can see the sea now. And over the ocean there. It's about a mile. The other side, what you can see, the land on the other side is Albania. So, what happens to a lot of people, you get to here by the edge of the sea and your phone changes to Albanian time, <laughs> and then um, you make a mistake of what time it is, and also your internet can change and it can start charging you two pounds a minute. So, if you're coming over here, make sure you when you do your data roaming, you cap it at naught so you don't pay anything else once your data roaming runs out or if it switches over to Albania because otherwise you're going to end up with a hefty bill I tell you so that's Albania over there guys I haven't yet been to Albania um, I was supposed to go to Montenegro and then go over to Albania um, when I looked at the flights um, I was tired and I waited till the next morning and the prices trebled so I didn't go to Montenegro I went to Bulgaria instead um, but I'll be going to Albania when I go to Montenegro. I'm going to try and fit that in sometime this year, but I'm kind of fully booked for the rest of the year. You know, I ain't got much time to go other places, so I've booked up so many holidays everywhere. But I really do want to go over to Albania. Yeah, it's looking lovely down there. See that little place down there? I think I want to go and have something to eat and a drink down there, right by the sea. That'll do me. I don't know if you was watching yesterday, I went out on a boat trip. So we went out all the way out the water, so we was going in between Albania and, and Corfu on the boat. But you're not allowed, the boats aren't allowed to stop it on, on Albania. I could have dived off the boat and swum to Albania. <laughs> that might make me an illegal immigrant though. <laughs> Going down here because I see there's a little place to eat right by the edge of the sea, and that's definitely my cup of tea, you know. Just sit here and chill. All the shopping up there, and that is too busy for me. I'm not doing shopping and stuff, you know. It's all just too busy up here for me. So I'm going to have a quiet drink, quite a bit. Something to eat. It's nice down here. It's probably double the price, but I'm not eating a big meal or nothing. I just want a little snack. I haven't eaten nothing since, uh, for, I don't even know, for two days. Yesterday we had a barbecue on the boat, yeah? But I only had a tiny bit of it, I was, I was feeling ill and I couldn't really eat because I had so many beers. So literally my belly's full of beers for the last two days. Um, I ain't had hardly anything to eat. That's probably why I'm feeling ill. As soon as I have a sandwich or something, I feel a bit better. Yeah, it's lovely here. I'm going to grab a drink. 
Pero no es perfecto, estoy de uno. Es un restaurante. Si buscar donde no era. Hello. Hello. Is it table service? Yes. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's another thing. You know, like all the countries you go to, it's always table service, which is a bit awkward at pubs, yeah, because I go to pubs, you're used to um, paying first, year. In all the other countries I go to, it's like you pay afterwards, but sometimes you're a bit pissed and you forget to pay and walk off. You know, this has happened to me a couple times. Um, just because just you've had a few beers and you forget, man. Oh, that's a bit of shade around here, so I'm going to chill here, guys. I'll go for a swim in a bit. Gonna get something in my belly, though. Have a quick drink. No alcohol, though. It's a strictly um, soft drink for me today. Oh, yeah, um, you see Corfu? It's a big old island, and there's loads of little. It's almost like loads of little different towns to go to. A lot of them are beautiful, like Cassiopeia, where I went to yesterday, was absolutely amazing. Um, this is lovely as well. But everywhere's going to look lovely when you've got a backdrop like that, you know? I can't zoom in with my camera angle this way. I'll upload pictures eventually, and I'll take a few pictures. Hello. Hello, Thank you very much. Yeah, so this is me for about, I'm going to stay here and eat something and have a drink. Then I might just have a dive in the water. Trust me, um, every time I've been to the beach, it's not been planned. And I've just dived in <laughs> with whatever I'm wearing. And literally, when you get out of the water, you're, you're dry again within 10 minutes. Even your trainers, everything, you're just dry. So, uh, you know. And another thing. <laughs> When you get on the beach here, yeah, don't tiptoe in and stuff because you'll feel cold. Just dive in and it feels lovely. It's much warmer than a swimming pool at home, I swear down. But when you tiptoe in, <laughs> it feels cold. Uh, I hate all these menus, man. They're funny writing. These fuckers get everywhere, don't they? <laughs> Flying rats. <coughs> you know, when you just want a sandwich because you're not feeling good. <laughs> like, usually, uh, I don't know if you can see that. I'll be looking here, meat platter, or something like that, Slovaki. But honestly, yesterday I couldn't eat it, man. I had, I had all that kind of stuff yesterday on the boat with the barbecue, and I couldn't eat it, man. I need something just small, soft, and wet, man. Nothing, <laughs> nothing too much, man. Uh, see, I want pools, even pools. Uh, I don't want quinoa. I don't want that with it. Pool sandwich would be really nice. <laughs> but yeah, this is um, the most you're gonna pay anywhere for anything to eat over here. You get all kinds of stuff, your lobster, Slovakis, seafood. It's all there, yeah? But I don't know what comes with it. I don't want chips, don't want nothing greasy. I don't want quinoa and all that vegetarian crap. <laughs> I literally just want a pool sandwich that would do me fucking lovely. Yeah. I'm not going to ask them if they would make me a pool sandwich. <laughs> but I doubt if they will, but you, can, you never know. <coughs> or I could just get a seafood salad maybe. Yeah, I might do that. Just get a seafood salad and ask them if I can get a bit of bread with it or something. Seafood salad here is £11 and it comes with um, octopus, squid, mussels, shrimp. So that's the, that's the seafood you get in it. So that'll do me €11, Euros, it's about £10. Um, and I'm, I'm at probably one of the most expensive places here, right by the sea. You know what I mean? If you're in the sea, you can fall in right there. You know? um, yeah, it's a beautiful spot. Corfu cool cool Port is just around the corner there. That's where I got the boat from yesterday. Um, there you can see one of the boats there going on a day trip. 
the one I was on yesterday was um, a double decker one. And they're really, <laughs> good, really good people, you know. They sell booze on there, get loads of cocktails, spirits, all kinds of stuff on the boat, and um, they do a barbecue. It's a, honestly the probably the best thing to do if anyone's coming to Corfu is to get on the Magna Day. It's called Mag, Mag <laughs> Magdalena Tours. Yeah, look them up. It's, it's 35 euros. It's about 31 pounds. It's from nine in the morning until six in the evening you're out on a boat you go to all beautiful places and you have a barbecue honestly it's it's mad that that i'd have thought it'd be about 69 pounds to do that you know it's, i think they've underpriced themselves you know this kind of thing um so if you're coming over here that's a must do for everyone yeah honestly the magla it's called mag <laughs> i can't just say it magdalena bolt tours yeah just look that up and you'll find it yeah um the skipper's name is spiros yeah, just tell him you know me. Tell him you know that. Tell him you know the hyper MC, and you'll be nice. You'll sort you out some free drinks. Trust me, he's a good guy. We had a great time yesterday. I was thinking about even going back on that boat tomorrow because it was such a we had such a great time. We might even go and do that again tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Because believe me, when you're walking around and you're stopping here to eat and going there, like you spend about 100 quid, 150 quid a day on a ship. Boat cruise, you don't really spend much. You, you spend 31, 31 quid to do it. You buy a few beers and that, and the beers are two quid on the boat. I don't know how much the cocktails are because I didn't really have cocktails. Um, yes, yeah, so and you get a barbecue, you get, you get a meal with it as well, and everything, man. So yeah, it's well worth going on the boat tour. <laughs> it's, it's like the cheapest day I've had abroad yet, apart from Bulgaria, of course. But yeah, it's the cheapest of the less, the least money I've spent in a day at, ever when I've been abroad was yesterday because <laughs> I was on the boat all day. Having a great time, it was probably one of the best days I've had at Bruges, you know? Uh, proper. Right, let me get to Aldia, man. So, the place I'm at is called. <laughs> fuck knows. I haven't got a fucking clue. But Ev. I, 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 I guess I'd say that's Ev at sea. I don't know, I ain't got a fucking clue. I'll ask them though when they come over. I see no. I see no soft drinks on here. I really need a soft drink. I don't want no alcohol, man. You know what I could do? With a nice glass of Fanta, some ice cubes and stuff. Oh, soft drinks. It's another thing when you come to these countries, make sure you always get the fresh orange juice. Trust me, everywhere you go, check out the fresh orange juice. It's not like England, it's the best orange juice you've ever had in your life, honestly. Um, sweet as anything and just shows you how shit our fruit is at home but yeah every every country you go to always try the orange juice i've actually got a liter of orange juice in my fridge at, at, at where i'm staying here um you get it in the supermarket fresh you put the oranges in the machine and they squeeze them and gives you a liter of orange juice for about two euros 50 something like that i get that everywhere everywhere i go i get that um <laughs> they ain't got much selection for soft drinks here but it's like fresh orange juice, various fruit juices, Coke, Lux, whatever that is, ginger beer, Red Bull, grapefruit soda. Listen, I just want a can of Fanta, man. <laughs> you right, bro? Can I get a seafood salad, please? And do you have any orange, uh, fizzy orange drinks? Yeah, do you have any fizzy orange, like Fanta? Or Anything like that? Uh, is it orange, yeah? yeah. Fizzy? Yeah. Uh, give me one Lux then, please. Okay. Yes, one, thank uh, you. One Lux and one seafood salad, please. Okay, do you like uh, orange or lemonade? Orange, please. Orange with uh, seafood salad. Yeah. Okay. Also, um, is there any bread at all that I could get? Do you have any bread? Yeah. Yeah, can I... you have bread at pita bread. Yeah, whatever. I just want to... Yeah, okay. just one slice of bread or a bit of bread with you. Okay, yeah. so we'll bring bread, sit salad, and one more. Thank you very much, my man. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Thank you. Yeah, sorted. So I'm getting a seafood salad, a drink called Lux, which I don't know what it is, but it's the Greek, it's the, it's the Greeks um, orange egg, basically. And I'm getting some pita bread, or I think I'll give me a bit of pita bread. So I'm going to have the salad with the pita bread. I need a bit of bread, man. I've got, listen, for two days I've been drinking, drinking, I had nothing to eat. Apart from a little, literally I had a little bite at this barbecue yesterday. Um, it was mad because um, I chucked a bit into the water, there was some fish there. 
Honestly, I was chucking, first of all I started chucking bits of meat in, and it all coming for the meat, fucking hundreds of fish. And there was this big one that came. It looked like a little barracuda at all of um, It had some rainbow colours on it. And um, yeah, I ended up throwing in all the rice. And even the cucumber, they was going for it all, man. They was fucking going for it all. <laughs> So I fed all the fish yesterday with my food, with my free dinner, with my free um, barbecue, and I didn't feed myself. <laughs> so I'm proper starving, but I, the starving ain't the problem. I actually have um, gastroenteritis, so if I don't eat, my belly's empty and I start getting ill. So that's why I've been ill. It's not just not just the alcohol, you know. It's, I have medical conditions, you know. <laughs> So for quick butchers up the road, up, up the side of the sea, see what's going on. There's a boat coming over here. I don't understand why there ain't lots of boats in the water, because if I was over here, I'd be in my boat in the water most of the time. That's where I'll be. That's where you'll find me. People just all sunbathe along the edge. Some people go for a swim. I don't know if you can see that couple of fish in the water, but it was hundreds of them yesterday. About 10 of them swimming together there. Excuse me. What's the name of the place, please? Emplo. Emplo. Yes. Thank you. The place is called, where I'm at right now, is called Emplo. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's E M P L O or what, I don't know, but she said I Plo. I don't know. Well, it's a lot cooler here, I'm in the shade. And there's a little bit of breeze, tiny bit of breeze. It's a lot cooler. So I'm glad I came here because just to get out of the sun, I've been baking, I tell you. It's not even the hottest day since I've been here, but it's really just in the sun constantly. It's, it really gets hot, man. Anyway, let me see what what you get for what kind of seafood salad you get for, te for a tenner around here. Uh, 11 euros, about a tenner, innit? So, um, let's see what I'm going to get. I think what's going to happen, this is what's going to happen, yeah? I'm going to eat my food. And give it about five minutes, I'll feel better. I'm right as rain, and then I'll and then I'll be hungry, <laughs> and you'll see me eating again <laughs> somewhere, having a Slovakian somewhere or something. <laughs> Thank you, my man. Cheers. Ah, yeah, look, it's N Plo. So that's Greek for sale in. Yeah. So it is N Plo E N, and then space P L O. So if you Google that when you're over there, you'll you'll see exactly where I am. And you can come and eat here too. Um, but wait till you see what I get first before you do that, because you never know, it might be horrible. But I'm sure it'll be lovely. Looks like they was pretty busy. I had to come all the way around here to get a table. I don't know if up around here. So I'm um, assuming it's a, a popular place and it's a busy place. Um, being right next to the sea could be the reason for that. Or it could be that it's lovely grab here. I'm going to find out in a minute. Um, I suppose with a seafood salad, you can't really go wrong, you know, I suppose it's the sauces and the seasonings that make it, you know. Uh, when I was in Malta, I had, to, I love octopus, you know? when I was in Malta, I had this octopus dish, and it put some funny seasoning on it, man, it tasted funny. I still ate it though. <laughs> yeah, if you've only just looked, joined us, that's Bulgaria. Sorry, not Bulgaria, I'm telling lies. That's Albania over there. I could probably swim it. It's about, I'd say it's about a mile. I could probably swim over there, but I'm not going to. <laughs> There's not much there once you get there either. It's like all <laughs> deserted. So like I said guys, if you're coming over here, be careful with your phones here because it goes on to, Bo on to Al Albanian time and it starts charging Albanian 
prices and stuff, yeah, with your phone. Um, a lot of people get called out, caught out by that and they end up with bills, massive phone bills because um, they didn't realise they were paying £2 a minute, £2 a gig to be on that internet, <laughs> you know, when it should be on this internet. My phone changes over to that. So my phone at the moment, he, he's saying one o'clock, when it's actually two o'clock here in Greece, he's saying um, Albanian time. Um, I'm guessing it's midday where you guys are. Yeah, if anyone see me in Bulgaria, if you want to go over Bulgaria, uh, you can go over here in a, I think it's a week or two, eight, from the 18th to the 22nd of October, it costs 25 pound return flight, yeah? That's to Bulgaria. And then when you get there, it's probably about, for them days, for them four nights, you're paying about 50 pound to stay somewhere, decent, 50, 60 pound maybe. Um, so, literally 85 quid you can go to Bulgaria for four nights yeah um, from the 18th to the 22nd of October yeah or you can go any other days but it'll be about five ten pound more yeah but you can go there for cheap and you ain't you, you're not in four days you're not going to spend more than 100 quid trust me you can't spend that much there really it's so cheap so if anyone wants to get out feeling depressed in shitty old Britain fucking book a trip to Bulgaria man trust me you'll be fucking mind blown how cheap it is over there, it's ridiculous. Easy Gavin, how you doing my man? Hope you're good bro. Sat in Karen, always watching me girl. <laughs> yeah, anyway, let me put my phone down a sec, because I need to um, drink my drink a piece. Salad. I'll tuck right in. See that thing there? Got some bread there with it. Soak up all the beer that's in my belly, man. I was just trying to leave my phone so it stands up. That's it, guys. I'll give you a verdict on this food here. Oh look. The table's too slippery. Alright, let's see what's going on for this salad man. Don't seem to be no sauce so or you like a bit of dressing or something. But yeah, it's good to just salad with pool. Mussels and your octopus. Yeah, it looks all decent. But I would like a little dressing. I'm going to ask him. I don't know about these Greeks if they have dressings. I know they, like, they love a bit of olive oil. Yeah, wicked Gab. I'll be coming to see you in Clacton soon when I get a bit of free time to get up there. Yeah, I want some salad cream, man. My salad, bro. Excuse me. Do you have any salad dressing at all? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, she's gonna come with some salad dressing, see what's going on. Tastes you right. I need black pepper in it. And a little bit of salt. I have that on everything. And a little dressing. And it'd be perfect. But I'll be honest with you, when I usually eat, this is the kind of thing, but half of this, I would have this with a steak. Lovely. I trust me, anything will do now. That's another thing in Greece. When they give you bread or toast, anywhere, if they don't give you butter, it's like they don't have butter here. I've seen butter in the shops, but you just don't get butter with anything. So, everything a bit dry, you know? Oh, that's my um, that's the Greek version of Fanta. Right? It's not Fanta. It's called Lux. Right, they don't serve Fanta. They serve this instead. Their own products. 
That'll do me. I'm sure that'll do. Yeah, I will do, Gavin, bro. Definitely, mate. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Enjoy. Cheers. Enjoy. Lovely. <laughs> oh, look at that. Just give me a bit of salt as well. Salt on there. Got this stuff. Don't know what it is. <laughs> Don't know what it is. I'm just going for it. Let's have it. That's it, guys. Sorry. Cheers, guys. Yamas. <laughs> yeah, that dressing's right. Much better with the dressing. Much better. One of the salad leaves has got a bit of a flavour. I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, the food's all right. Personally, I just like lettuce. <laughs> but I don't even think they do lettuce like we have it over in over England. Even though our lettuce is a cool pot of lettuce and they, like they come from Greece. The lettuce is here, have this flavour. I don't know if, you, if it's lettuce to be honest with you. Um, yeah, Andrew. Um, yeah, this was equivalent of ten pound. It's eleven euros, mate, for um, the salad, seafood salad. You get um, octopus, prawns, um, squid, and there's something else. I can't remember. One minute. Oh, mussels. Yeah, so you got four lots of seafood in there. And after some bread, just because I need to soak up some beer out of my belly because I thought it all. Lovely spot to eat. The place is called Enclo. If anyone's coming over here, um, it's Corfu Town. Corfu Town, the main part of Corfu. Not too far from the airport here, so a lot of people stay here because it's easy to get to, and it's the main part of Corfu. Um, got some nice bits here, but the whole island has got lovely little private beaches and bits you can go to, little little villages and towns by the sea and proper beautiful places. So um, when you're over here, you have to ask, find out from the locals. Like I found out Cassiope, um, a beautiful place to be. Um, so if you're over here, go and visit Cassiope for a day. And there's a couple other places. Obviously, Adjus Gorgias, where I stayed. Um, so I know two of the beautiful spots, but there seems to be loads of them. I've seen when I was going around the island on the boat yesterday. That's why I know, but I can't remember the names of the places. <laughs> so. Um, there's loads of little places you can get to and go to. But honestly, if you're coming over here, bring your driving license and rent a vehicle. It's about 20 quid a day and you can get around everywhere, you know? <laughs> anyway, let me get my munch on, man. I might start feeling a bit better, like, get some food down my belly. Yeah, it's nice here. It's lovely here, man. You know, I'm going to be... Um, it's, it's funny because I've got... Um, Morocco on my mind. I'm going to Morocco in four days. It's almost spoiled my time here because <laughs> that's all on my mind. I just want to get to Morocco. But it is lovely here. Um, another time, I wish I could, if I was here another time, I'd be saying oh, I wish I could stay longer and stuff. But as it is, I can't wait to get to Morocco um, just to see my friends over there and help them out and shit, you know. Yeah, let me get some of this bread in my belly, man. Pigeon is loitering around. The cat's trying to get the pigeon. Oh, fucking hell, the cat just walked straight past the pigeon. Literally. I'm coming over here, you smell seafood. Hello. Yeah. You know me. I find pussy everywhere I go. Yeah, mate. Yeah.
Oh uh, look, just one you don't give the other. That's half my side of gun man. <laughs> yeah mate. Oh. <laughs> I've got it again. Snoozy loo.